I came to U of H right after undergrad. I was a biophysics major and I kind of decided that I really liked biology and I really liked physics, but I wanted to do something a little bit more applied. From the start, I felt that biomedical engineering was kind of my calling because I knew I wanted to do something in health, but at the same time, I knew I didn't want to be a doctor. I knew I wanted to engineer and innovate and create things, and I felt like a biomedical engineer was a perfect blend. Being in Houston and being at the University of Houston would put me well positioned to be able to do a lot of research that I thought was really innovative. The OH in Biomedical Engineering program is a top-notch program in my life by developing novel tools to image, to look inside the body, try to understand uh, fundamental questions. For the first time ever, you can see uh, how heart forms or how brain forms. So I've been at U of H now about two years, and uh, one of the things that really attracted me to the campus was its proximity to the Texas Medical Center. They're really at the forefront of a host of different types of research and discovery. We need to collaborate with neurosurgeons or processists or biochemists. Having the Texas Medical Center, which is the largest medical facility in the world really, people with that expertise available to us at any time is just fantastic. The research disciplines that are covered in the department is very broad, not just thinking about what's happening at the bench, but how could that be placed into a clinical setting or uh, what is the greater benefit to the general population. So I work with a lot of sickle cell patients, and there's only really one curative therapy for it. So we ask ourselves the question, well, why aren't there that many therapeutic options? Especially when we're here in Houston and the population is so great. That's why we came up with low-cost microfluidic devices. It's this artificial microvascular network where we can essentially see whether or not small, like very minute changes in the red blood cell shape affects the blood flow of a patient. I've been working in Dr. Yu's lab to work on devices that are stretchable or flexible and soft so that they can interface with the human body really well. And that also improves their sensitivity, their capabilities for sensing, and also their wearability and comfortability over time. The most important thing that I want to get out of this program is essentially a way to develop a vision for my own future research and also to continue to develop the capabilities to be able to teach and mentor students in the future when I have my own lab. We're looking for a broad uh, background students. If you're excited and you love science, it doesn't matter if your background physics, biology. I have a student with a minor in music, but of course you have to love uh, math and biology. Being a self-motivator, I think that's really important with being a strong researcher, um, really having an interest in the work that you're doing. It's really the passion of the research that really drives you and keeps you motivated. The college, the university is extremely open to international graduate students. We have a great family of international students already here. Um, and so when people come, it's even more welcoming because they find people that are from their home country even from time to time. And it's easy for them to integrate and adapt and adjust to the lifestyle because you have all the support here to do it. I really like the startup ecosystem. So we're not necessarily the Bay Area, we're not Stanford, we're not Boston, but Houston in itself has a lot of potential to be something that's so much different. The biotech and biomedical fields are fast paced and there's consistent change. Whether you decide to stay in academia or go forward into uh, industry, I think there's definitely a great opportunity for individuals who are in the biomedical biotech uh, field today. There's just a host of different skill sets that you gain when you're in graduate school that are much more transferable. And so I would just love to have a position where I can do something to help grow that ecosystem. My goal at the beginning was to publish a few papers, present or go to a few conferences at the least, try to essentially prepare myself to be a good postdoctoral candidate so I could take that next step to pursuing a faculty position. But with the advising I've had of BME faculty here, I've been able to expand that a lot more. The biomedical engineering graduate program's faculty members have all put me on this path towards becoming a future professor.